Welcome to week number two of Scale Down 2.0. I am K1 Samuels, the fitness instructor. And last week, these ladies started their journey to shed some pounds and develop a routine of healthier living, like we tried in season one. They are partnering with Burn Box Food and Fitness and trying intermittent fasting. It has been one week of eating healthier and working out, so let us check in and see how the first week went. Check it out. Hey guys! I know one of my expect for me to like jump pump boxes or a beautiful demo of me working out, but that was just not the case this week. So I know, honestly, when Mr. Daniel said, oh no, I feel hungry doing this intermittent fasting. Well, I'm so hungry that I feel sick and like I may have dead. So there was no way I had any energy to go and work out. But then I figured that I'm not going to die. That was just my body adjusting to not eating for 18 hours. So at 12 o'clock when my coffee alarm got off, I basically hunk every second till two o'clock because that's when I have to eat. So basically it's two to 7.59 and that was rough. Rougher than another thing. Um, so this week I have just been adjusting and listen, not make nobody tell you, just drink water, it don't work. I mean, if one of my stand up next to me, one could have me hear my belly, they talk, cause that would happen. My belly would tell me that it's hungry and drinking water just never work. Like, you know, just plain water. I used to listen to Leela last season say, you know, but just drinking plain water, no help. Well, that has been happening to me now, but I've learned to trick that by adding simply a little bit of lime or a slice of cucumber or something to make it seem as if though I'm doing more than just water. Like it make I feel like I drink a little lime juice or something like that. And that kind of curb the hunger, but just water, nope, haven't been working for me. So in conclusion, my confession is I didn't do much workout. That's because my body didn't feel, honestly, it just wasn't capable. I felt sick even. If you see me, I was moping around. Um, I thought I was going to die, really. But it was just me adjusting to 18 hours of intermittent fasting. And as well, I learned to trick my water problem. So all I ate this week was rotisserie chicken because that was all I was able to. Since I'm just figuring out eating between two and 7.59, when I used to eat tea dinner and tea, but we're figuring it out and hopefully next week I get to do better. So that's it for week one. I ain't even want Lila try lie to Uno because I don't monitor Lila as well. So she need to come and sit down right in this chair and tell her how she no work out. That's it. I hope I'm in a focus for all of this. All right, my confession. I know that he'll tell her that I only do one day, but he lie, I do two. Two days, that's a lot, that's a more than one. Plus, she almost only make 50 steps for the day. I make between eight to 10,000 steps a day because of my job. I up, down, go to resort, come back to the construction site, go back all over. So, that's a big difference. So I think that I exercise three and a half days total for the week. I don't care what she said. Now with the food, the food, that's that, that the easy part for me. The food easy. The only thing is that they ask me to stay away from the carbs and that the way kind of hard because now I feel like I eat one whole chicken. Sometimes sometime I feel like if I could eat one whole fowl, I feel like I could fly when I, when I, the way I eat. But 
And the, and the hardest thing for me, that the black coffee without no sugar. That killed me. So I put one little bit of creamer in it. And I'm not supposed to do that neither, but I put one little bit of creamer. Well, I say leave it, but I put enough creamer make it taste like French vanilla because I can't handle a black coffee. Um, I never cheat, I know I lie. I not cheat with the soft drink, which I was impressed for the first week. With this, with, with, with this first week that I gone, no soft drink. I drink water till I, till I tired of water. Water not got no, no flavor. I put cucumber, I put lime, I put lemon. I do everything possible for making it taste like water. And I did good, I must say. I really did good when it came, when it, when it came to water. My intermittent fasting time, that's 16 and 8. I can't handle the 18 and 6 like with the needle. I must say I take my hat off to she. For first time she do this, and she do that. But I can't do that. Remember, I older than she, so all of them things I have to take advantage of and take break. I do 16, so that means I eat between 12 and 1. And I finish by, I usually finish by 7 o'clock. So that's what I do. And I don't eat nothing again till the next day between 12 and 1. I find that easy. What may hard for me is that every now and then I would have put one little potato and little carbs, but right now it's strictly protein. I know that Denise said I only exercise one day a week, but that's not true. Two days I exercise. <laughs> and I just want to know, by, for me to put in eight to 10,000 steps five days a week, that wrong, I wrong the half for three and a half days workout. I know I'm not good with the workout, but I want K1 to know that I recall for the knee, that I want to push myself and exercise four days and hopefully five days out of the week. But I recall for the knee. Watch yourself, because people kind of ride with she know that she did a burn box. All right, ladies, so let's see if the scale matches what you told me that you did last week. Yeah? Better. By the way, everybody, each week these ladies have been going to Burn Box Food and Fitness to get measured and weighed at the same time, the same day, in the same outfit, you name it, it's identical every single week. All right, Daniil started off with 154 pounds. One pound more than Leela, who weighed in at 153. So let's jump right into the weigh-in for this week and see where they are as opposed to them. Mother fella. Yo. All right, all right, all right. Hold on, hold on. Before we get too excited, I just want to say that I cannot believe the odds. What are the odds of you two weighing in at the exact same weight at the beginning of the season two? I didn't do my job. Clearly. You don't yeah. need to look for me. You are trying to catch me. Remember, exactly. I had one pound. We don't question whether you are doing your job or not. This, no. And a joke, and a joke, so and a, a joke. It's a joke, it's a joke, it's a joke. It better be. Mm -hmm. So, yes, let me be um, fair. I think that this time around, given the fact that these ladies are in the gym, given the fact that they spoke to all their friends after season one and the competition was heavy and this one has a fan base and that one has a fan base and they're colliding, I think that this time they're a lot more serious and it's showing in the skills. They're not lying about what they're doing. We're recording now and I'm checking. I can actually see them this time. So I'm very, very proud of you. Daniil lost 2.2 pounds. Hmm. Leela lost 1.2. 
and that's more than enough for one week. Let me be very clear. If you lose a pound, a little less than a pound, much more than a pound, it's better than not losing anything at all in a week. All right? Okay. Keep your goals completely realistic. Lisa, no. how much are we now? One, uh, 151 for you, what? 151.8. Two away. Two away. Yes, ma'am. So Both. it couldn't be more Dos. fair. I don't know if, you know, the off season, I want me to try match up on the eating, but say, okay. Dos. But 151.8. So go this is not it. All the competitions, I don't want to hear nothing about she got this over me. And, no, it's all the same, okay? 151.8. Remember it, stick to it, then forget about it because you're going below that, all right? Now, Until. how do you feel about your progress in this one week time frame? It's good. Um, when we spoke to Whitney, I was very, I think Leela asked the question about how much pounds was realistic right. to lose in a week. And so I just wanted, I was sure I wanted to be within that realistic right. range. range. And so I feel good. And how about you, Leela? How do you feel about your progress over the past week? I feel good. I mean, 1.2 pounds. At my age, I think my metabolism is a little bit slower than a young people want. So yeah. I think I did do damn well. I think that's a very good point. I, think I, think so. I, still have to, I still have to make the age difference be a big thing. I think right. so. The machine metabolism is supposed to be very fast. Mine mm -hmm. is slow down because of age and menopause mm -hmm. and all of that thing we have got through. But but I feel good. Here you are defying the odds, getting one you pound got that right. plus off in one week time. Yes. Awesome job. Excuse it. Luzen just sent a boat for us. Definitely. It's at the dock. Definitely. And we're going to go there right, right now after we leave this place. And we're going to film our first scale down challenge, which you guys are going to be watching right now. Don't I feel like I'll win again. Leela will cheat. You know, she's cheating at all her challenges. So I just, just feel like the challenge, all of the challenges, I will win. All? I think so. Wow, that's our good way to start the season. Winning all the challenges. All the you challenge. heard it first. All. So like I was saying, you don't want to miss this challenge. Stay tuned, we'll be right back because it's going to be full of cheating. <laughs> See you. My way. favorite she this season no this and her gym you better lose some weight hey, you know burn box can't beat this i could tell you i don't want you out here don't right. you play with my gym right. my gym is better because in early hand right, yeah please we were talking later on <laughs> the nonetheless here's what we're going to do all right d use we're not at Blue Zen to watch Lila work out. We're at Blue Thank Zen. God. I know. We're at Blue Zen to do a challenge. All right? I want you guys on the beach. And we're going to do a game called Shells and Ladders. Let's move on to challenge number one. Follow me. All right, we're here on the beach in front of the beautiful Blue Zen Hotel. And we're going to play the game Shells and Ladders. Now, the reason for the name it's because this is a beach, so I just threw in the shells, but the ladders are important, all right? On this side, the ladies are going to have to do some Ukrainian twists, and then on that side, they're going to have to do some jump squats. 
All right, now the fun part about the game is that even though they're doing those things, they have an opportunity to set the other person back. All right, so for example, they will do six Russian twists behind this Ukrainian, line. Sorry. Sui, six Ukrainian twists behind this line. Thank you for correcting me. And then they're gonna run over to this station where they're going to do some jump squats. And then after that, they're going to try to toss two sandbags into Whoa. the hole to set the other person back a whole round. So for example, if Leela was at six jump squats, sorry, six Ukrainian twists and one jump squat, and Daniil catches a bag in the hole, then she has to go back around and do that same thing over. Or if she's farther along, she has to go back to the previous number that she was at. All right? And that's how the game works. It's gonna be fun. Do not move. You never do a squat. You cheat. I never, I never, I, I don't recall that. And kill one left you right there. No man. You Thank only beat me because you catch the hole. Thank Jesus. And nothing wrong with me. I still good. I could go again. Me too. You want to me all too. Over? Me too. All over. And I take a beating again <laughs> and again and again. But it's a good thing. All season long, we 
we have enough challenges right? for you guys to be able to catch up to each other, all right? <laughs> and I like Peter Wild Heart, I done broke out of the cage. <laughs> and once you gotta leave, that's it. You got that right. I know they look back 13, you know. 13 and they look in number. All right, 13 it is. She doesn't say how much you are losing, but I had 13. D, how you feel after this competition? Good. You feel good? That's all you have to say? That's how you talk, all the time. The resident is out to be great, yeah. Just big. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody can beat them. Hey. All right. Well, Finnegan might be a little bit disappointed in that. No, eh, disappointed in her performance because you have to win right. I will win right from here on. From here on. From here on. From today. Today. I tell Finnegan I win all of the show that he hit. Everyone. You just better win and not cheat. And not cheat. And not cheat. She always uh. say cheat for season one. She say cheat. I will start season two the same way. You don't got shame. No shame. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, then you serious. I want, I want, I want me and you promise each other. Uh. Even though we challenge, I beat you, I beat you, you beat me. I beat you, I beat you, I beat you, you beat me. <laughs> How are we motivate each other? Seriously. I got you. We need to help each other. Stephanie. Hi everybody. So here's the thing. This morning I got up really late, admittedly. I didn't have time to make myself breakfast. Didn't have enough time to grab some coffee to suppress my hunger. So this is what we're gonna do today. I'm going to show you how to use the Lasco food drink to Fill up your stomach and prevent yourself from falling down later on by missing any meals, right? So Lasco mentioned to me that this one package makes three whole drinks. So we're only going to use one third of this and I'm going to show you what I add into it. By the way, you don't need to add anything else other than water. So everything else we're adding right now is just for either flavor or extra minerals and protein. All right, now one third of this Lasco drink is going to be added to a cup of water. Let's put in the Lasco drink first. All right, we'll call that one third. Of course, it's delicious. So if you wanna put a little bit extra, Lasco won't come knocking on your door, all right? I'm gonna put in a little bit of water. And then to go with this powder slash water combination here, we're gonna add a single whole frozen banana, all right? And that's really just for flavor and added consistency to this drink, okay? A whole one. Split it how you like if your blender is strong. And then additionally, a spoon of peanut butter. And that really is it. Just four simple ingredients that you hardly even need because the powder itself from the Alaska pack is delicious enough, all right? Seal that up really quickly. Realize that it took me like two minutes and blend it. All right, good. So we have that part down. I'm gonna open it back up here. It smells amazing, honestly. We're gonna add a little bit of ice just to make it nice and thick and slushy because that's how I prefer my drinks. Close it back up. Give it a second blend. And that's it. I made this simple serving just for myself, but they're actually family servings, big enough for everybody. Just in case mom ran out or overslept too, and she forgot to make breakfast for the kids. You can throw this in, in the blender, as many bananas as necessary as your kids like, more peanut butter, add some oatmeal, whatever. Lasco will cover you and your family for whatever time you need it for, all right? Family options are available to you. Give it a try. Welcome back to Scale Down 2.0. And I want to end off with a very important health tip today about H2O. Drink plenty of water, plenty. The heat has been on lately and I have to remind you, 
Water is essential for your health. Water makes up the majority of your body weight and is involved in many important functions, such as flushing out waste from your body, regulating body temperature, helping your brain function. It's things like that. Staying hydrated is crucial to maintaining your body temperature. Your body loses water through sweat during physical activity and in hot environments. And everywhere in Belize right now is a hot environment, all right? Your sweat keeps your body cool, but your body temperature will rise still if you don't replenish the water that you've lost. And did you know that water actually helps to prevent constipation? It's true. Eating fiber isn't the only way to prevent constipation, so drop the oats sometimes. It's also important to maintain your water intake so that your bowel movements contain enough water. If you don't consume enough water, magnesium, and fiber, you may be more likely to experience hard bunk. But if you're already constipated or having trouble with it, you may find that drinking water helps to ease your symptoms. So drink up. Well, thanks again for tuning in to Scale Down 2.0, and we hope that you continue to. If you want to sign up for a vigorous fitness plan, find me on social media at k1.bz. And if you want to continue taking small steps for now, be sure to tune in again next Wednesday at 7 p.m. for more Scale Down 2.0. See you.